Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. Coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Alabama held their 18th practice on Tuesday, September 15th. Got Thomas Fletcher and DJ Dell getting you going, and you know what time it is. Hit that thumbs up button. We appreciate it. Inching closer to 50,000 subscribers right here on YouTube. Let's get it. We start off with some wide receiver footage. You know Jalen Waddle. You saw the interview today on BamaInsider.com. I want to see more of this. Thank you. I want to see more Bryce Young connecting with Jalen Waddle. Can you imagine? You just get the football to Jalen Waddle. It's how you got to do, I feel, in 2020. I mean, get him the football. The more, the better. Obviously, good things are going to happen. Heard Mac Jones had a fantastic scrimmage. Heard really all the quarterbacks did very well during Saturday's scrimmage. And I think that's very important, carrying that momentum into that first week of the college football season. We had an opportunity to speak with Jalen Waddle today. Jalen Waddle talked about the special teams game. Are they going to kick to Jalen Waddle? Are they going to punt to Jalen Waddle? Here's what Jalen Waddle had to say on Tuesday. Uh, well, you got to expect alternative kicks and a lot of uh – different type of kicks but i do expect uh teams to kick it to me just based on like field position and not trying to give up too much of a field position so you have to uh, kind of kick it overall i really like where the wide receivers are at right now for alabama going to the first game of the season hearing that john mechie has really had a fantastic fall training camp and that's really not surprising i mean he came in here he won that a day mvp as you see number three right there xavier williams another guy fighting for that fourth spot and you probably these guys aren't really fighting for that spot they're just adding depth overall to alabama's very talented wide receiver unit and i think that john mechie is a guy who's going to be a pleasant surprise during the 2020 season of course everybody knows how dynamic he is and i think uh, um, you're going to have other guys like um, Xavier Williams. I think you're going to have Slade Bolden. And these type of guys really rise up. We've talked about some of the freshman wide receivers before. Uh, Javon Baker, Thal Jones-Bell. Um, you also have Treshawn Holden. Here's a great shot of Xavier Williams. I think this guy might be on the verge uh, of really starting to come up right here. That's Xavier Williams. And um, he's had some opportunities now at Alabama. And this is Slade Bolden, a guy who everybody wants to see get the football just because he's, you know, the Slade cat. He he, he needs the football. He's a, he's a playmaker. This is a freshman. Trey Sean Holden, we've seen good things from him during the 2020 fall training camp period as well. Um, but I think overall, it's a very strong unit. I think Holman Wiggins is doing a great job continuing to develop that legacy of fantastic wide receivers here at the University of Alabama. And I think, as everybody knows, it's Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddle. But it's also very important to know that some of these younger guys can get the job done. I think if their name is called in a critical situation, you're going to have a lot of these guys really step up when the bell is called. And um, I, I think that's a, a positive for Alabama fans. And, and it's been like that for several seasons when the wide receiver position continues to grow continues to develop um you know this used to be the university that developed high caliber running backs only and now you're looking at a university that is developing some of the best wide receivers in all of college football everybody saw uh henry ruggs and jerry judy and their fantastic nfl debuts um as we look to the defense there's your daily dose of patrick sartan can't wait to see him play heard from him today as well such a, a well-spoken young man um there's ronald williams who's a junior college transfer and number seven that's brandon turnage and following Saturday's scrimmage, Nick Saban said that the secondary didn't have the best day. And the sources that I spoke to said that the offense won the day during that second scrimmage. Well, what does that tell us? I think we already know that Alabama's offense is going to be extremely good. And I think we already knew coming into the season that the secondary, that that is the area where there was going to be a lot of question marks. So is there pressure on the secondary going in week one? Let's look at it as opportunities. Okay, we got some footage of the defensive line. We got uh, LeBron Ray. Let's rewind that clip real quick. And this poor man holding the bag right here from LeBron Ray coming in like a ferocious tiger, right? Knocks him out. Clear back. The, the poor guy. Glad he had his mask on. My goodness. All right, here's uh, DJ Dell uh, fighting off. It seems like the defensive line is playing with a lot of pop today, which is great to see. Um, great footage of the offensive line. Good tandem right there. Landon Dickerson and Emil Ikior. Uh, you got Darian Dalcourt. And um, you got Pierce Quick as well. Got some footage of the running backs. This is good footage right here. You're going to see Charles Huff working on um, different drills to, to make sure these guys can fight off, um, you know, low-cut tackles and make sure that they can get up the field. As you know, Najee Harris's third episode of the campaign debuts Wednesday, September 16th on his YouTube channel. Here's Brian Robinson. Everybody expects such a big year for him. Um, this is footage of Trey Sanders. Heard that Trey Sanders had a fantastic scrimmage. Heard he ripped off um, a 50-yard touchdown. Uh, there's Kyle Edwards, number 27. Get another look at him. Another one of those very talented freshmen. Heard that all the freshmen looked very explosive. Wow, that was explosive right there by Najee Harris. Um, and this is Brian Robinson again. There's so much talent in that backfield. I feel that that's the strongest running back unit in the entire country. Really excited to see all those guys in action. 
As we move to the photo gallery segment, you got Brandon Turnage right here, defensive back for the Alabama Crimson Tide. As we continue to move forward, I think it's clear that Alabama is still trying to figure out who's the best fit at center. I think right here you got Landon Dickerson. I know a lot of people feel comfortable with Landon Dickerson at that safety position. Here's Nick Saban wearing a mask. Love those masks. I want to get one of those myself, to be honest. Um, Jacquez Robinson right here, number 21, another defensive back for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Um, looks like Chris Owens. And a, a lot of people are trying to figure out where is Chris Owens going to line up on this offense of line unit he's a veteran he's a senior um, a lot of experience so he's going to be you know wh whether that's a center or at some other position you're going to see plenty of Chris Owens this year in my opinion uh, Malachi Moore um, we've already had him on our freshman spotlight doing a fantastic job during fall training camp working at that star position um, doing just a fantastic job from everything that we gather Cameron Latou so much athleticism for this young man a lot of people forget he came to Alabama as an outside linebacker uh, more uh, photos of the offensive line you got Emil Yikior right here and then following this particular photo you're going to have Tommy Brown, one of the younger, very talented offensive linemen at the University of Alabama. All right, fam, it's time for the freshman spotlight. And today we got the spotlight shined on Javion Cohen, 6'4", 325-pound offensive lineman out of Phoenix City, Alabama. And a freshman that we hear continues to make strides, continues to work on his craft, and a lineman that could see plenty of playing time during his true freshman season, which, as you know, very tough to do at the University of Alabama. Props to him. Hey, fam, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up. We appreciate you guys being here, inching closer towards 50,000 subscribers right here on Bam Insider.